Hey everyone, hope all of you are doing great. So I was getting this question over and over again from all of you that I'm a complete beginner. I'm just starting up right now in 2023. I don't know anything about the smart contract, Ethereum, blockchain, how smart contract get executed, how to build a DAP. So in that scenario, what I have to learn first? I have to learn about the basics, I have to build uh, basic dApps or I have to focus on the backend development as well. All the time from many of you guys that should I have to learn backend development as a blockchain developer or not. So in this video, I'm going to talk about it that who should learn about the backend development and if you are a complete beginner, then you have to start with the backend development or not. So that's all we're going to cover in this video. Hope this video will help you and give you a better idea that how you can take your journey ahead in learning the blockchain development and building DAP. Before I take you and explain the pros and cons, if you don't know about the backend development, then what problem you will face, what kind of application you're not able to build. So let's try to understand that what advantages you will have if you know the backend development. And again, I'm going to highlight at the end that who can learn backend development what level of understanding what level of knowledge you will have then you have to focus in the backend development okay so let's try to understand the few points if you learn the backend development it's going to help in this area when you will build your app so the first thing i want to highlight that if you really want to understand that how the backend development exactly works so when you write a smart contract what happened exactly blockchain is a kind of backend where you execute your smart contract so you are utilizing somehow the backend of the blockchain because whatever code you're going to write, it's going to be self-executed on the blockchain based on the program and functionality you have included. So ultimately, you are dealing with the backend and the code is running on the blockchain. So that's the first thing that you are already utilizing backend of the blockchain for running your smart contract and building some sort of DAP. And the second point I want to highlight is that sometimes you have to integrate any type of backend to your DAP. For example, if you want to have an updated price of any ERC20 token or any type of data you want to display in the front end or you want to use in your smart contract at the time of the user function call, you need some sort of data. So you have to know that how you can integrate the backend part with your DAP, with your application. So in that context, what happened that it's become very mandatory that you have to know that how you can make an api call how you can design a basic structure of a backend for fetching the data and storing the data so in that context it's really very important to know the backend development at least have a basic understanding so you can get the data and you can build a basic architecture basics functionality to facilitate the feature in your app so that's the second thing that somehow sooner or later you're going to interact with the backend and you're going to connect the centralized system to the DAP. And the third thing is that API development. So sometimes what happens that you're going to create your DAP and you're going to provide whatever data you are taking from the user in form of API. So user can take those data and they can make API requests and they can get in different platforms. For example, you are building an NFT marketplace and where you are storing all the information about the user and NFT details. And you are storing that data on the blockchain, but you are also storing those data in the API so user can make a request and they can have the data in their platform and they can integrate in that way what will happen that your marketplace popularity will increase because your api can be used in multiple places the user will use your contract and they can use in different project so you have to build an api if you really want to build a scalable application so in that you need to know backend development and the fourth one we have is security because sometimes what happened that if you really want to provide some sort of security some sort of api calls you want to do that at the back end you don't want to expose the user keys in the front end so anybody can manipulate and they can access the data so what happened, for example, I'm integrating PayPal payment system in my app and I want to take the payment from the user and they can pay in dollar and they can take my token. So that payment process I want to do in the back end. I don't want to do in the front end because if someone try to access my front end code, they can manipulate and they can create a huge problem for my business. So in that context, what happened that those sensitive data, which you really want to process during the transaction, you want to do in the back end part of your application. So in that context, you have to know backend that how you can do that to facilitate better security to your user if you talk about the metamask like it store your private key but do you know how it's stored they're using some sort of backend process for encrypting your private key so not anyone can have an access and you will have a secure private key so you have to know the backend for the security reason of your app and the fifth one we have is full stack blockchain development so as the name suggests full stack blockchain developer means you have to be good enough to provide the complete solution for your app building the front end smart contract security and the back end so these are the few examples i have given to all of you guys that why back end is important if you talk about the collaboration if you talk about the building a protocol you're going to do it on the back end part okay before you make it public you're going to do it in the back end part and then you're going to build on top of that so these are the few reason that why you should have to learn the backend development as well if you really want to scale your career in blockchain development but now let's come back to the topic that who can start learning backend development 
before you jump to learn back end development what are the things you have to know first as a complete beginner as a complete newbie who just starting up so the very first thing i would like to suggest you that you have to build at least two to three project two to three project with the smart contract without using any backend if you talk about uniswap if you talk about nft marketplace these are the two project i have built on my channel where we have not used backend we have built only smart contract we have used ethers to convert and do all the thing so these are the two project which is absolutely must for all of you guys once you build this two project you will gain enough understanding about the smart contract and how you can run the smart contract on the blockchains after that so once you complete this two project after that i want you to build this particular project web3 started in this what i'm doing i'm allowing user to upload their nft so they can create their nft on a particular chain and we are also providing an api we are building a backend where we are storing the information in a centralized system and user can use the endpoint and make a request and they can have the entire information about the nfts user have created on our platform so that's the feature we have included so this is the project which i have explained extensively that how you can build a backend using node.js express so make sure to build up this particular one so first you have to build uniswap nft marketplace then you have to build this one as a backend one and we have tons of project you can pick any one first build your foundation learn about ethereum learn about blockchain how it's work i don't want you to be master in that i just want you to take a overview just spend one to two days try to understand and after that straight away build project straight away build project when you will build project you will gain the understanding and you will learn while building the project so that's the approach you have to take you will save a lot of time and in that way you can find yourself that what do you have to learn how, like how important backend is you can easily able to answer this question because if you really want to work as a full stack blockchain developer in that context you definitely have to be good in the backend part as well if you are working as a smart contract developer then i would say that you can skip that backend part if you are working as a ui developer blockchain ui developer you can simply skip that part but if you are working as a full stack blockchain developer and that you have to know about the backend it's absolutely must so the roadmap for you to master front end smart contract blockchain and the back end is will go something like that so first build all the project we have built on our channel without using the back end and we have also built the back end part of the nft marketplace where we have built the entire router every single thing so you can check that as well so this is what you have to focus so if you are a complete beginner i would suggest you build four to five project build your foundation understand every single thing once you understand that then focus on the back end part if you're starting just as a fresh don't need to worry about back end at all just give two months build as many projects as you can once you build that once you feel confident enough then you can move and learn about the back end so if you are comfortable with this it won't take you like a month and you will master the express node.js or you can use any framework any language to build your back end so that's the my point of view on this that who should have to learn the back end development why you have to learn if you really want to become a full stack blockchain developer then blockchain back end development is really important because you have to deal with the api and a lot of other stuff for building a scalable application but if you're a complete beginner i would suggest you start with this basic things build a smart contract app use a react next just and build a simple app like nft marketplace uniswap and we have a lot of project we have check okay build all of this project after that move to the back end so that's my take and that's what i would advise you all and i want you guys to follow this in that way you will save a lot of your time so hope you guys have liked this video if you still have any question in doubt and then soon i'm going to take this kind of question the most common question which you guys ask a lot so i'm going to take this kind of question session where you can shoot your question and i would be able to answer all your queries so that's the only thing from my end and i believe i look good in this particular haircut because i was thinking for a quite long to take a haircut and finally i did it yesterday and i look like a bhadru chele ki bolchen apni it looks pretty good to bahut koshish kari hai but finally ho gayi okay so see you see you in the next video have a wonderful day bye bye